And even if you don't have a children, just by knowing this about children, it should inspire you. You should learn from them. Number one, perseverance. Children do not give up easily. Oh my God. They are goal-oriented. When children, they have a goal in their mind, they will pursue every possible way to achieve their goals. You know, no matter, obstacles are ignored because they have a goal and they want to achieve that goal. All too often, adults allow the challenges uh, in lives discourage them from pursuing their goals. As a matter of fact, a lot of us live our life, we live our life and we don't have even clear goals in life. And that's a disaster. We don't have something that we live for. We don't have something that we dream about. Ask yourself as an individual, as a community, as a society, what is your really goal in this center? What do you want to accomplish as a community in Salt Lake City? What do you want to accomplish as, a, as an individual when it comes to your relationship with Allah? What is the goal that you have put yourself in the beginning of Ramadan? And you said, you know what, I want to achieve that goal by the end of Ramadan. I want to achieve this goal in, in t- t- 10 years from now, 5 years, 1 year, whatever the, the, the goal is. And the timeline that you have for yourself. You know, and so many times, even if we have goals, we're very mediocre about it. We quickly quit. We're willing to throw the towel very easy. While kids, they don't do that. They actually very goal-oriented, and they focus on their goal until they achieve what they want. I wish us as an adult, we start thinking this way. You know, those who love, choose any game, famous game, basketball, you know, uh, for, for those who follow uh, the basketball, or uh, soccer these days, a lot of people following the Euro Cup or uh, here in America. Can you imagine these two games without goals? I just want you to imagine that. You know, in basketball, they probably go on ball, they pass it to each other. Can you imagine football without goals? Can you imagine hockey without goals? We just pass the thing, toss it to each other. Would that be a, an interesting game? Would be anyone interested in watching it? No. It would be a so boring game. Guess what? That's exactly your life without goals. One boring life. That's exactly how your kids and youth are having a very boring life because they don't have a goals in life. And these goals should be set in every single area in your life. Again, as I said, so many of us are not driven by dreams and goals. You know, Martin Luther King used to say what? I have a dream. You know, many of us as Muslim today, we always say, I have a problem. We are driven by our problems. We're not driven by our goals. We're not driven by our dreams. And this is so dangerous, in my opinion, on the future of anyone as an individual, as a family, as a community, as a society. And if Martin Luther King kept saying to his community, I have a problem, I have a problem, we will never have what we have today. He will never accomplish what he accomplished today. 